today we're going to learn about something called tessellations. Simply defined, a tessellation is created when a shape is repeated over and over again covering a whole plane without any gaps or overlaps. A really good way to think about it is a tile floor completely covers the floor and there are no overlaps whatsoever. Tessellations are really cool and they're also really fun because you can use them for both math and art stuff, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm using some shapes that I thought were really interesting. I'm going to link some coloring pages and some other things down below in the description to help you if you're really interested in doing your own tessellations. I highly recommend doing this. It's super relaxing and just really fun. Basically what you do is you find your shape or you draw your own shape. You trace it onto a smaller sheet of paper so that you can have a nice little easy size that you can cut out. Once you have that, you proceed to trace that shape all over a piece of paper. You don't have to fill the whole thing. I didn't do it with this because I wanted to show you all the different shapes that I had. But if you want, you can fill the whole sheet of paper, even going off the edges, and just cover it with this whole tessellation. The whole idea with tessellations is that you learn a couple of very key math principles, mainly symmetry and a couple of different types of symmetry. So symmetry basically defined means the quality of being made up of exactly similar parts facing each other or around an axis. That's a lot of words. So basically what symmetry is, is that when you take something like a triangle and you fold it in half, both sides of a triangle, when you fold it in half, are the exact same on either side. A square is really cool because you can fold a square multiple ways and no matter what, every single portion of a square, if you fold it in half, or if you fold that half into half again, it's gonna be the same thing. It's going to look the exact same on every side. So what basically the mathematical word for explaining why something looks the same when you fold it in half is called reflection. A reflection is a shape that has been flipped, most commonly flipped directly to the left or the right or flipped to the top or the bottom. So like with the triangle, you fold it in half, you're flipping it from the left to the right. And with the square, you can flip it from either the top to the bottom or the left to the right, and it will be the same no matter what. So again, if a reflection is done correctly, you can draw an imaginary line right through the middle and the two parts will look identical, AKA symmetrical. The whole idea with tessellation is that you have a shape that is symmetrical in some way, shape or form, either from top to bottom or left to right, such as the arrow, the pinwheel and the leaf patterns that I'm using. The next step to tessellation is what is called rotation. Rotation is done by spinning the pattern around a very specific point, typically the center, and rotating it in a circular fashion. The whole idea of tessellation is that you're going to have a shape that is symmetrical in some way that you can sketch it out on your sheet of paper and then you can rotate that shape next to the one that you just sketched out and it perfectly fills the spot next to the first shape. You can see with any of the things that I used, all of these shapes perfectly fit together and fill the whole area. There's no blank spaces between any of these shapes put together. And then you have what's called translation. Translation simply is just the moving of something across something else. So with this, it is me moving my little pinwheel template to the next part of the picture that I'm going to trace it on. So I want y'all, your homework assignment for the week is to go make your own tessellation, your little own picture mosaic of pretty colors and cool looking shapes using the links below or maybe something that you found. I really recommend it. Again, I had so much fun doing this. It was so relaxing and it was a lot of fun to just really think about where I wanted to put the different shapes. And it's really cool to be able to use the exact same shape and all you're doing is just rotating it or translating it across your paper and it's filling the page and it's creating this really cool looking pattern the whole way. Think of this as a super relaxing math assignment where you're just learning a couple of definitions because symmetry is super important. Again, a bunch of links are going to be down below for different pages on how to do this and printable versions and stuff like that. So if you're more interested, be sure to check in the description down below. But other than that, I hope you all have a great day and I hope you all have fun tessellating.